Good evening, and welcome to day seven of my two-week virtual home buying seminar. Today, we will be reviewing expected fees and costs when buying a home. So let's go ahead and get started. First, we'll start with appraisal fees. This fee is paid to the appraisal company to confirm the fair market value of the home that you're looking to purchase. This fee is typically paid by you prior to closing. However, if you speak with your lender, you may be able to make arrangements to pay this fee at closing. Next is the home inspection fee. You will likely get your own home inspection to verify the condition of the property and to check for home repairs that may be needed before closing. Next is the credit report fee. A credit report is pulled to get your credit history and score. Your credit score plays a huge role in determining the interest rate you'll get on your loan. In addition, you may have an application fee. This fee covers the cost for the lender to process your application. Before submitting an application, ask your lender what the fee covers. It can often include things like credit check for your credit score or your appraisal as well. Not all lenders charge an application fee and it can often be negotiated. You can also expect a document preparation fee. Also included in this fee would be the courier fee. And this fee covers the cost of transporting documents to complete the loan transaction as quickly as possible. If the property you're purchasing has a homeowner's association, you may have a HOA transfer fee. The seller would pay for this transfer, which will show that the dues are paid current what the dues are, and a copy of the association financial statements, minutes, and notices. It is very important that you review these documents to determine if the association has enough reserves in place to avert future special assessments. Check to see if there are any special assessments, legal action, or any other items that may be of concern. Also, you will receive a copy of the association bylaws, rules, and regulations. Depending on where you purchase, you may have to pay village fees. Village fees or transfer stamp taxes are essentially a transaction fee imposed on the transfer of title to a property within that village. Not all municipalities require this fee. However, you'll want to check with your lender to see if these fees will apply to the property you are purchasing. Next is the loan origination fee. This fee covers the lender's administrative costs. It's usually about 1% of the total loan, but you can sometimes find mortgages with no origination fee. It's best to check with your lender to confirm. Next are title fees. These fees are paid to the title company for doing a thorough search of the property's records. The title company researches the deed to your new home, ensuring that no one else has a claim on that property. The next fee you can expect is private mortgage insurance, better known as PMI. If you're making a down payment that's less than 20% of the home's purchase price, chances are you'll be required to pay PMI. If so, you may need to pay the first month's PMI payment at closing. This is just a general overview of the fees that you can expect when you're closing on a new property. There may be other fees associated with closing and you'll wanna check with your lender to be sure of those fees prior to going to the closing table. If you have questions or would like a list of possible fees that you can expect at closing, feel free to reach out to me and I can provide you with that information. That completes today's review. Tomorrow, we will be reviewing the home search and choosing a property. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed today's review. I look forward to chatting with you guys tomorrow. And as always, if you have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to contact me. You can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook under Kalila Adams CEO. Thank you. Have a great evening.